Hi, today we're going to learn how to make flower pens with duct tape flowers. They're pretty and functional. There are a lot of videos about how to make duct tape flowers. These flowers are both faster to make, smaller and lighter than the most common design where each petal is made from a separate piece of duct tape. So the materials that you need are duct tape, solids and patterns are fine, pens, scissors and a ruler. So I'm going to show you first the simplest version, which you make with a single color of duct tape. So you start with a 15 to 8 inch, 18 inch piece of duct tape, and then you fold it, just like this. You fold it so part of a sticky strip is showing all the way. Then you're just going to trim the ends to make them look a little neater. then you're making it on a pen that looks like this. So you take the pen, and the top of the pen is the center of the flower, and the beginning of the flower, you just roll the duct tape strip around to make a tight center of the flower. If you kept doing it this way, you'd just get a fat tube. So now you have to start adding little crinkles, little gathers as you go to make along the bottom to make the top of the duct tape start to go out like petals of a flower. That looks pretty good. Now that's not going to stay by itself. Gradually it will loosen up. So you need to take a small piece of duct tape take a small piece of duct tape and you're going to tape it all the way around the base and you're going to use that to hold the duct tape in place. And it's important to go all the way around so that it attaches back to itself. That will make it more stable. And then I'm going to do a second piece a little bit lower to help keep everything in place. And there you have a very fast, simple duct tape flower. Now if you want to get fancier, you could do it in two colors. So I made the center of this one a solid color and the outside a pattern. And here is a purple combination. And here is another purple combination. If you'll notice what's different about this one is the gathers are different and so the flower is wider. So how tightly you gather determines the shape of your flower. If you compare these two, I personally think the ones with the solids in the middle look better than the ones with the patterns in the middle. And here is one that's all a pattern, and it's pretty simple, and yet it's pretty. So now if you want to do something a little bit more complicated to make it look a little bit more natural, after you folded your piece of duct tape, if you'll notice, I just cut a little wave on the outside edge of the strip of duct tape. Then I rolled it exactly the same as I did the first one. And then you will get a flower that has a little wave on the edges. So here it is in blue. So it looks a little bit more natural because it has a wave in it. And here it is with two colors, so a pink pattern in the middle and a fuchsia black pattern on the outside. If you say, well, what else can I do with that? 
you can go beyond the wave. And if you look at this strip, after I folded the duct tape, I cut petal shapes in it. Smaller at the beginning, because the petals in a flower would be smaller at the beginning, bigger in the middle, and towards the end, I put those little spaces in. That just makes it easier for you to position the petal where you want them to be on the flower. So if you use this pattern, you could get a flower that looks like that. So that's the pink. This is solid purple. This is a different pattern. These are smaller petals. These are larger petals. These are all rounded petals. I did one with sort of pointier petals and got that look. So by varying the way you cut the duct tape, you can get all manner of different flowers. So I think this is a great way to make a pretty pen that nobody will take accidentally. And they look really nice on your desk as an ornament for your desk. So I hope you will try making duct tape flower pens. Thanks for joining us.